I guess, to find a different way to be progressive is that what we've learned about the, let, let's not talk about the administrative issues that were there for the assessors because they would be able to figure it out. But the $55,000 really adversely hurts what we think of as real rural counties and kind of doesn't make much difference at all in some of our larger swath metropolitan counties. And we had over 600 districts, taxing jurisdictions, that actually after the 55,000 and the 30,000 for and the assessment rate changes, um, six counties, over 600 districts that actually had less uh, taxable revenue in 2023 than they did in 2022. So, and most of those were what we consider real rural counties. Thanks for that. Any other uh, discussion on this set before we go to the last set? All right. All right. Senator Hans, I'm actually wondering, since we aren't going to vote on these, do we want to just save that discussion then for the 26th on 248 and 249? Yeah, I think I think that's fine. Are, are folks fine deferring on these until we get the final okay. uh, information from the title board? I'm seeing lots of yes, nods, thumbs up. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and, and truncate it there, and we'll come back to that set of six uh, at our next meeting. All right, so with that, we will um, move to individual voting. Senator Hansen, does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds good. Are folks feeling ready or they want a little further discussion? Uh, I think the idea would be the kind of motion is uh, the property tax commission recommends initiative blank and yes to recommend, no to not recommend. So it should be fairly straightforward, but Commissioner Lasky. Chairman, yes, um, I agree with not wanting to spend some time and 249, just because they are in the same category under title set. We have done that for the other ones within that category and to just choose two to not have the discussion of the pros and cons um, doesn't seem to be equitable. Well, the idea is that all six of these would be put to the next meeting because they are being filed for rehearing. Six. So 244 through 249, because of that motion, we'll just hold all six of those for the next meeting. Okay, thank you. And they'll be more finalized for us. Yeah, we'll come back and do the same process, but just on the, Thank since you. those aren't being included in the vote today. Yeah. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, yeah of course. Sir. Commissioner Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, <clears throat> I'm wondering, because I keep figuring out when to say the same thing I could say on most of these ballot initiatives. Um, is there a way we could make a, or consider some kind of way to weigh in on just general broad terms like practic practicability. Um, if, you know, for example, this group has been kind of pretty consistent about its view about hard caps. Um, is there a way to reflect that in, in which some of these things require a backfill that may or may not exist or be sustainable? <coughs> well, I, it looks like the ones we're gonna vote on today don't use that word practicable. So, I'm happy to tackle that with you at our next meeting, but I think today we're off the hook as far as that word goes. If I'm, if I'm reading this correctly. All right. Other discussion before we move to uh, the formal recommendation. Yeah. Commissioner Doherty. Senator Hanson. Thank you. I'm just, I just want to make sure we're, we're just basically voting on whether or not we as the property tax commission support or do not support these ballot initiatives, correct? Yeah, I guess we were sticking with the statutory language of recommend or not recommend. Thank you. Um, what you decide to do this fall is totally up to you. Uh, but I think we are making a statement from this commission that we recommend this initiative or we don't. So that is what I'm taking from our statutory charge. Uh, check in with everybody if that sounds, sounds correct. All right. Everybody in agreement with that is, is our motion here. So we'll, we'll just do a individual motion. Uh, you know, the property tax commission recommends initiative blank. 
and then we'll move to uh, roll call vote. Okay, uh, any final discussion before we move into that process? I'll have our vice chair help us with motions because he is an old pro. I mean, a new pro. <laughs> As long as I'm not a GoPro. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the Property Tax Commission recommend recommend, recommend initiative number oh, sounds hard. Uh, initiative number 50. <laughs> All right. That is a proper motion. Any final discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Becker, please call the roll. Mission members, Baisley. Yes. Capelli. No. Castriota. No. Three Kennedy. No. Davis. Yes. Donis. No. Doherty. No. Grizel. Excused. Furman. Mr. Furman? Oh, sorry. Pass. Groff? No. Johnson? No. Nope. Lasky? Yes. Olney? No. Pogue? No. Richardson? Yes. Harry? No. Dick? No. Uh, Furman? Yes. Kerr? Nope. Mr. Chair. No. That fails on a vote of five to 13 with one excused. And as we move forward, I would just want to let folks know we did check in with Rep Frizzell to see if she wanted to come vote. And Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Do you, uh, Representative Degree Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I've been in touch with Representative Frizzell. She is unfortunately playing the part of a minority leader in managing the floor during the debate right now, so she can't come back over. Well, okay. That sounds like a fun duty. All right. With that in mind, let's uh, keep going. Uh, Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the property tax commission recommend initiative number 108. All right, that is a proper motion. Final discussion, Mr. Becker. Commission members, Baisley. No. Capelli. No. Castriota. No. Gary Kennedy. No. Davis. Yes. Donis. No. Doherty. No. Rizal excused Furman. No. Groff? No. Johnson? No. Nope. Uh, Johnson, can you repeat? Can you repeat? Sorry. No. No. Johnson, no. Lasky? Yes. Olmy? No. Pogue? No. Richardson? Yes. Terry? No. Vic? No. Kerr? No. And Mr. Chair? No. That fails on a vote of 3 to 15 with one excused. All right, let's flip the page. Brings us on to page 2. Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the Property Tax Commission recommend initiative number 95. All right, that is a proper motion. Any final discussion on initiative 95? Seeing none, Mr. Becker. Commission members, Baisley. No. Capelli. Yes. Castriota. Yes. Green Kennedy. Yes. Davis. No. Donis. Yes. Doherty. Yes. Frizzell excused Furman. Yes. Groff. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lasky? Yes. Olmy? Yes. Pogue? Yes. Richardson?
again. Richardson? No. Richardson, no. Terry? Yes. Big? Yes. Kerr? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. That passes on a vote of 15 to 3 with one excuse. Bringing us to initiative 96. Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the Property Tax Commission recommend initiative number 96. All right, that is a proper motion. Any final discussion on 96? Seeing none, Mr. Becker. Commission members, Baisley? No. Capelli? No. Uh, Castriota? No. Degree Kennedy? No. Davis? No. Onus? No. Doherty? No. Frizzell excused. Furman? No. <coughs> Groff? No. Johnson? No. Lasky? No. Olmy? No. Pogue? No. Richardson? No. Terry? No. Vic? No. Kerr? Aye. Kerr, yes. Hansen? No. Or Mr. Chair? That fails on a vote of one to 17 with one excused. To initiative 97, Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the Property Tax Commission recommend initiative number 97. All right, that is proper motion. Any final discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Becker. Mission members, Baisley. Yes. Capelli. No. Castriota. No. Gary Kennedy? No. Davis? No. Jonas? No. Doherty? No. Frizzell excused Furman? No. Groff? Mm -hmm. Groff, no. Johnson? No. Lasky? No. Olmy? No. Pogue? No. Richardson? All right, we seem to have lost connection. Oh, here's Commissioner Richardson coming back. Let's try that again. Sorry about that. No. Richardson, no. Terry? No. Vic? No. Kerr? No. Mr. Chair? No. That fails on a vote of 1 to 17 with one excused. All right, that brings us to the close of uh, this part of our agenda. As I said, we'll take up the next six that will be finalized at Title Board between now and our next meeting, as well as the others listed on page three, four, and five at our next meeting. So fairly similar, but maybe slightly longer discussion. We'll see uh, how many of them get titled and how many of them uh, move forward in the process. So it may shrink a little bit. Uh, but that gives you a good preview of what we're going to be looking at uh, as as we come up to our next meeting. And uh, if everyone's comfortable with it, we'll follow a very similar format to what we did today. All right. Uh, that brings us uh, a little ahead of schedule, which is always great. We'll get out of here uh, perhaps a bit early. But I wanted to give everyone an uh, update on the legislative side. Um, and give me one moment. I'm just going to grab my notes for this part of the meeting. All right, um, so wanted to provide a bit of an update and uh, of course allow other members of legislator, legislative body to, to chime in here um, and have a discussion or any questions, of course, certainly in order uh, on kind of next steps. So you'll recall the, uh, I believe it was the 11 recommendations that we adopted, if, if my memory is correct. Um, we have now taken those 11 recommendations and have moved into a, a, a legislative drafting process. We have a late bill authorization to move forward with a property tax package um, for uh, drafting. Right now, we're doing that 
uh, as one large bill. Uh, so 